Bohr's model of hydrogen atom. This model was proposed by Niels Bohr in year 1913. And this theory modified the atomic structure by explaining some postulates. So now let's see what the postulates are of this Bohr's atomic model. So the first postulate is, in an atom, electrons revolve around a positively charged nucleus in a definite circular path. Means in an atom, every electron has its own definite and circular paths on which it revolves around the nucleus. Means basically it can't revolve at any given path. It only has one definite circular path for revolving around the nucleus. And those paths are called orbits or shells. Okay? So now let's move to the second postulate of this theory. So the second postulate is, each orbit has a fixed energy and these circular orbits are also known as energy levels. Means simply every orbit contains a fixed amount of energy levels in it. Because electrons are revolving in a fixed path due to the electrons fixed energy levels. And that's why their paths can also termed as energy levels of those particular electrons. Okay, got it? So now the third postulate is, the electrons in an atom move from the lower energy level to the higher energy level by gaining the required energy. And an electron move from the higher energy level to the lower energy level also by losing its energy. Now it simply means that when an electron moves from lower energy level to the higher energy level, so for doing this it needs to gain the required energy and have to go in an excited state. Similarly, when it moves from the higher energy level to the lower energy level, then it needs to lose a particular amount of energy and have to go in the ground state. Now the fourth and last postulate is, Bohr's model explains all the line spectra observed in the case of hydrogen atom. Means Bohr's model is completely successful in explaining about line spectra of hydrogen atom. Now line spectra of hydrogen atom means, so it means when atoms of hydrogen are excited, they emit light of a certain wavelength which corresponds to different colors. Is called line spectra of hydrogen. Okay, got it? Okay, so now let's move to the limitations of this Bohr's model. So now the first limitation of this Bohr's model is, it failed to account for the splitting of the line spectra of hydrogen atom into finer lines. Now you already know that a regular spectra of light looks like this. But if we emit or pass a white light from a hydrogen atom and then pass it through a prism, then as a result it will form this kind of spectra, which is very different from the normal spectra of light. And this spectra contains these type of finer lines and the issue is that the details of these finer lines was not explained by this Bohr's model. Now the second limitation is, it could not explain the spectra obtained from other atoms except hydrogen. Means it explained about the spectrum of the hydrogen atom, but it was failed to give an explanation about other elements atom spectrum. Okay, got it? That's it for this model.